So it's Christmas morning and we're heading to the nursing home. Um, just gonna play some music and my dad's dressed up as Santa Claus. Show me what you did here. Did you make those eyebrows? Yeah, I put that other thing. <laughs> for the week, just do it for the week. So I cut it in the tray and then I cut the wrap, the remnant for this. <laughs> so we're on our way to a nursing home. It's a uh, it's actually one of the few traditions we do have. <laughs> so what's your plan today? <laughs> you just just gonna... scaring people. Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! The residents are usually happy to see us. Some of them, their families don't visit them or can't visit them, so, you know, we're happy to do this. There's the plug, Andrew. Oh, there's the plug? I thought you were gonna plug it. I don't really consider myself to be a live musician. Um, I'm much happier in my studio. In this case, I think there's something special about live music at Christmas time. Uh, luckily for me, in the 10 plus years that I've been teaching, I have learned every single possible Christmas song. I grew up studying the electone, so my background is actually in contemporary music. While all of my friends were learning Mozart and Bach on the piano, I was learning Beatles and uh, show tunes. Yeah, my daughter. I think she follows you on YouTube or something. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, Hi, Alex. Alex. <laughs> yeah, Merry Christmas to you. Everybody knows Merry that. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Come on, come on, Sarah. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you. Internet stuff. Oh, yeah. That's where the money is. Yeah, I guess. Look at those guys at Google. Yeah. I do a lot of stuff on YouTube. Gonna send the bill after this. Okay. <laughs> yep. So that was fun. It's good. It's nice. It's just a couple hours out of our day to make other people's lives happier. Mm -hmm. 